Hello, Dr. Edgar here, walking you how, through how to make your Google Docs portfolio. If you've done Google Docs before, this will be a breeze. And if not, I'm going to walk you through step by step. It's really pretty easy. So the two things that you need to have up before we get started. We need to have our homepage up on eCourseWare, and then you also need to have Google Docs up. You're going to need to be logged in, so if you don't have a Google login, you need to make one. You can either make one for yourself or you can make a pseudonym account. It doesn't matter in this case. So the first thing you need to do is make yourself a new document. So here on Google Docs, uh, under Start a New Document, click the plus. This is going to be our portfolio. Um, then you're going to want to come over to our home page. If you click in content, You'll, it opened right up for me because I was working on it. But click Portfolio, then you've got Portfolio Instructions, Portfolio Table of Contents Template, and Portfolio Link Submission. We're going to be using these bottom two here. So first click the Table of Contents Template. This is just a template for what your portfolio will look like on the front page. So uh, I'm just going to click in this box. I'm going to do Control, or if you're on a Mac it would be Command and I'm going to push that at the same time as the letter A. That selects everything. Then I'm going to do the same thing, control or command, and the letter C as in cat. Then I'm going to go over to our untitled document that we made here and I'm going to do control or command along with the letter V as in Valentine. All that did was copy and paste your portfolio table of contents template into your new portfolio. So now all you need to do is get it so that it's going to be saved and shared and submit the link to me. Then each week as you go through you'll choose per week you'll choose one of these assignments and then you'll add it as a new page to the bottom. So you can um, use all of these if you want to. You can um, here insert a page break to start your new chapter one entry etc etc. Um, you'll kind of work through that. It's not going to be difficult as we go through. It really is just like using Microsoft Word. Um, and then as you put this in here and save it, I'll be able to see where you are in real time and make sure you're staying on track with your portfolio. And you'll also be able to look through and see all the work that you've done over the semester. Okay, so let's get to those last three steps of saving, sharing, and submitting the link. So if you click up here where it said Untitled Document, it's going to auto-complete the save name for you, so that's really handy. So there it is, and you'll see then, as you're working, it's going to save your changes in the Google Drive automatically for you. That's great. So we are saved. Next thing we need to do is share. If you click over here, you've got an option to share. Right now it says private to only me. That means if, you, if yours says that, I won't be able to see it. So you need to make sure it doesn't say this. We'll click here then. And what I'd like you to do is choose Get Shareable Link. This does not make your work searchable. It's not going to be available to anybody that just happens to be working around on Google. It just hides it in this very long, complicated link. So we're going to leave this here and then choose Copy Link. So then anyone that's got the link can view it. That means I can't edit it, nobody can edit it, only you can edit it. But anybody you share this link with, which is going to be me, is going to be able to view it. So we've got this link copied, great. Then the last thing we need to do to share this is to go back into our portfolio area and you'll see it says portfolio link submission. So this says it's a quiz, it's not really a quiz, it, this is just the easiest way for us to do it. So choose start quiz Um, and then and it's not going to let me do it because I'm not really a student, but then you'll see that it'll have one question and it will say, what is the link that you want to share? At that point, you need to choose control V and paste that in there. And that's going to share your link with me so that I'm able to see it. Then from then on, you don't ever need to come back to this link submission area. Every time you make an edit in your Google Doc, it's going to automatically update that for me so that you have got your updated portfolio that can be graded all the time and you don't have to worry about resubmitting every single week. As you do your individual assignments in your portfolio, they'll automatically be shared with me and then that way we can both see the whole total of the portfolio 
at any time.